What's up Raptors? Will here with our review of Super Dungeon Tactics. Let's just go ahead and just jump right into some gameplay. Right now, I'm working on selecting the characters. As you can see, you can move them around, but none of the missions really have an area that matters where you move them to from what I saw. There's a couple that it does, but for the most part, it really doesn't. This is one of the early bounties, and I chose four of the early characters. The cleric is a little bit farther in the game. The lady right there that heals, but the other three, the mage, the fighter, and the barbarian are really early on. But I wanted to show the cleric's abilities because it's so cool. This bounty here is called Unwanted Guest, and the objective, like most of the missions in the game, and even in the board game, is to destroy the spotting point. You destroy the spotting point, no one else is going to attack! Hey, that sounds good, right? So let's get started with that. First off, moving off the Barbarian, get the fighter over there as protection, and then work on this spawning point on the right. But I want you to see a little bit more of the gameplay, so I'm going to speed this up just a bit. One of the cool things about this game is that before every bounty, before every mission, you get to pick who you want to take on it. That way, once you get some of the cooler, now I'm, to avoid spoilers, I'm not going to say anything, but once you get some of the characters near the end of the game, you can take them back into these early missions and see how they do. It's really cool and there's some pretty cool characters later on. Let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments below. I might even reveal mine. As you can see, Super Dungeon Sport has a really cool dice feature that gives it more of that tabletop feel. Not only do your characters select dice, also your enemy characters, also the major enemy characters are selecting dice as well. This really changes up the gameplay, whereas one mission you may not get what you need at all. Whereas in other missions, like this one for instance, my cleric gets some of the blue dice quite a bit, and that allows her to heal the entire party that's around her, as well as attacking anyone that attacks her. That can be game changing. You can also see the movement here. Each character as you move over to their given range, you can see they also have the option to attack, like most games, before they move, and then move after. Some characters even have the option to attack more than once. You have your basic attack. You also have special attacks that you get with typically the red dice. It just depends on the character. Um, some characters, like the fighter here, can attack before they are attacked with, I believe it's the blue dice. Other characters, like the mage, for instance, she has a special ability that allows her to attack anyone that attacks her, which is really cool. These are different things that you can upgrade as you move through the game. It's one of the cool things about going back and doing these dungeons or even replaying story missions is getting new gear. Your characters progress simply through gear. At one point, I did have to go back and grind just a little bit to be able to complete one of the story missions that I wanted to with a certain character. But for the most part, it just flowed. Now for the downside. Unfortunately, the weakest part of this game is its story. It seems like the story was just there to add, introduce the new characters. And while that's fine, I was really hoping for more for it. I was hoping to really explore Crystallia and get to know this land. But this is just an introduction. It seems like they're continuing to add content. I hear nine new bounties are being introduced just this week and it can be a little addicting at times just trying to see different ways you can fight through missions if you're a fan of strategy rpgs i highly recommend picking this up at 20 bucks i've spent at least 36 hours in it and i'll probably be going back for more once they get some of the updates out thanks for watching our review of super ninja tactics if you have any questions just hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. 
I really like this game. I hope you do as well. Especially something to tide us over till Fire Emblem comes out in a few weeks. Catch you guys later.